Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm going to be doing a video on something kind of different, kind of new, um, I think. I don't think anyone's done like something like this before, I'm not sure, we'll see. I also need help with you guys titling this, these videos, and coming up with um, like a name for this new series because I think I'm going to make like a section at the bottom of my channel where it says like vlogs or like uploads and I'm going to do another one like this because this is so me. You guys know if you've been watching my channel that I am really picky, right? And things, it's all about the details for me. Um, it's not about just going and buying a lipstick or something that is really popular. Um, I have to really, really like it. I don't know what it is about me. I can't pick a struggle. Every single thing has to, there, I don't know, a lot of thought has to go into each thing that I do in my life, whether it's how I drive or what I do for the rabbits. I don't know. It's not an OCD thing because I'm definitely not OCD, I don't think. I think it's just being picky and knowing what I like and expecting a lot out of things in life. I don't know if that's good or bad. So um, I typically, a lot of girls on YouTube do favorites videos and I don't like those videos that much because I feel like people just go buy things and they show what they bought that month. They're not really a favorite because how do you know when you've only used it for like less than a month or a week? I don't know. So I don't want to be doing these every month. I, I don't know. My pickiness is like always here but it's constantly evolving, I feel like, too, into different aspects of everything I do. Just everything, from the way my coffee is made, to how my, I guess, my I do my nails, to my, the shape of my eyebrows, to the length of my eyebrows, to the, I don't know, everything is very precise with the way I am and what I like. And so I think it's fun to share. I think from my vlogs I found that you guys actually appreciate it. You might think I'm a little crazy and I'm not saying I'm not, but also I feel like a lot of you guys can feel me and understand that too and are like this. So maybe you guys can get something from this. Maybe you'll be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. But it's not going to just be like, oh, I like this lipstick and it's a pretty color. It's going to be a little bit more picky than that. So um, I think. We'll see how this goes. I want to know what you guys think about these videos and I would love help with like titles for, like I said, the, I don't know, I might change the title of this after if someone gives me a better idea. So yeah, all right, so I'm gonna talk about my coffee first. So lately, um, obviously so picky. I've shared this before, but um, I want to talk about it a little bit more because I've kind of even like gone a little step extra to be crazy with it. Okay, so when you go, I usually go to Starbucks and I'm, I go to several different coffee stores, but I feel like Starbucks is more readily available than like a local LA um, coffee chain or something. So I start, I decided to go get Starbucks this morning so I could share my Starbucks drink with you guys. So what I get is, and it's so funny, I shared this in a vlog and then a couple girls like tagged me on the Instagram and they went and got it and like one, one of them called it the HRH drink and I was like so like, I thought it was so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is a grande in a venti, one pump of mocha, iced mocha. So usually they put, three, I think three or four pumps of mocha, which is a lot of calories and super sweet. Um, and I, I'm trying to cut back on the calories all way up, actually, or always. Um, so they fill it up to about there, and then they fill the rest with ice, and then I tell them to put light whip and a flat top on it, because I don't like the bubble top. During, after a while, like the bubble top has like whipped cream all over the top. It just looks disgusting. I can't even drink from it anymore. Like. I don't know, it's so like unappealing to me when this cream is stuck all over the top, I just wanna like throw it away. And then I always ask for a sleeve too. So I'm like super nuts, but I know a lot of you guys can feel me, like I know you can. These are the masks that I've been using lately and really liking because I almost feel like there's a little bit of an instant result. I'm not the kind of person who likes to wait around a lot. Um, I do like instant results, like instant gratification, I'm sure a lot of us do, anyway. These are them, they're snail, snail Serum Eye Masks, um, and it's by the company It's Skin. I'm gonna try to find them and link them below. They're just these eye patches, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, I hope you do, just search for me, HRH Collection. I share stuff all the time, so this might be like repeats for some people, but it's also fun to hear about it. Um, so they're just like eye patches for your eyes, and I think you leave them on for half an hour, 
um, it's all in Korean, but I just look for the number on like the the, on the instruction area. There's a number. It says 30, so I know it's 30 minutes. Um, and then there's like a little like yeah, there's kind of a little diagram. Um, and I feel like afterwards, so snail serum kind of just like puffs up your skin. It gives it a lot of buoyancy. And um, I'm 30 years old, and so. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think my skin is in good condition. I don't feel like it. I feel like it's the same as it was when I was 20, kind of, honestly. I'm, I don't know, with jeans, knock on wood. Now that I said that, it's probably just going to go to shit now because, I don't know. I, I feel like whenever I say something, it, everything goes to shit. All right, and so these are really good. I'm really liking these. Um, the next thing I talk about, and it's probably going to be gross to some of you guys, but I don't care because this is my channel. This is what I want to talk about, are my toenails. So recently, I've just, like not been wanting to paint my toenails probably for the past five four months I just think it is so tacky for some reason to have painted toenails maybe black fine white I used to love white toenails now I just feel like it's so tacky I don't know what it is so what I've been doing um, is just cutting them really short and straight and filing them so they're really nice and like clean and perfect um, and I don't do anything I just like buff them and I think it looks very natural and I feel like the 70s are coming back even like the 90s grunge you know and I don't feel like there's there, like painting toenails was I don't know I guess there was like really bright colors back then oh but I just feel like now the color thing is kind of out I haven't seen this anywhere I'm not like saying that I don't know this is what I do if you guys think that's disgusting, just try like a skin color nude on your toes. I think it just looks so fab with, um, like right now, this is, I mean, is going to lead into my next thing, with like open toed shoes. And I've been wearing a lot of open toed shoes and I just think it looks nice. I don't know why, I'm loving like the minimal feel of it. So now that's going to lead into my next thing, which are shoes. So literally the only kinds of shoes I've been wearing are platforms. I... Like, even when I, cause I work downtown and I park far and I have to walk far, I have to walk to my car and things. Like, I don't care. I don't, for some reason, I just don't want to wear flats. Like, I love to be tall. Like, I, I think they're easy to walk in because the platform thing. So I've just been obsessed. I've got some, I've got a pair from Zara and I have my Stella McCartney um, loafers with the huge platforms. I just love platforms. I could, like, I'm not even picky about them. Like, I want all the platforms. I don't know what it is. I want all of them. Um, so then I would, Sack sent me like a $300 $300 off your purchase if you spend a certain amount. So I got two pairs of Pradas that I will share with you guys. And I just wanted to show you the pretty box that they come in. This really pretty, like, perfect Marie Antoinette, I feel like, color blue that she would have in her boudoir. I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, I will put the link to these all, both of these shoes below because if you're a platform freak like I am, you would, will need to get these. Um, if you obviously have, can. First pair um, are these wet uh, wooden ones and I've worn these out already. I've worn them in a, in a photo and the way I wear these is just with all black um, like head to toe with a leather jacket so it doesn't look so hippy or I'll also wear them with probably a lacy kind of dress, straight dress and a leather jacket over it for a little bit of edge. I love these so much. They're so easy to walk in. I just feel like fierce when I'm in them. I don't know. I feel like I can, for some reason with platforms, I just feel amazing. Like, I don't know what it is about that. I just do. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I have like a big head when I'm wearing platforms. I have no idea why. I feel like I can take over the world. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's the height. And it's, you know what it is? It's the height and it's, you don't have to think about falling, like they're not like heels because they're so chunky and there's like, you know, really you're only like this much off the ground because the front is also whatever, you know what I mean? So love, try platforms if you haven't already, I don't know, but I'm, I, I just can't get over them and I want the style to never go out because I'm just like loving it. All right. And then the next pair are like more for nighttime and I wish they came in black, but they don't. If they did, they like don't the style isn't the same, and I love this heel. These are also Prada, and they're like in a deep blue, navy, midnight blue color, and they're suede. And I love the little O top thing here, and I love the roundish heel. Really cute on super tall. These are a little bit more wobbly. I don't think I can wear these downtown, like walking to work, and I wouldn't because they're kind of well. I would wear them during the day, but 
I just feel like those, like I can wear, like those are like my shit kicking shoes. Like I can just, like you know what I mean, just wear them like everywhere. These are like more like for nice, even though it would be cool to dress these down too. Just love them so much. It's something about platforms with me right now. Okay, so then I want to talk about chokers. Um, okay, so everyone is loving my chokers so much, and I'm just so thrilled, really, because they are so amazing. Like, I literally wear my chokers and my t-shirt chains every single day, and of course I have all of them because they're from my collection. Well, actually, it's not true. I don't even, it's so, I do have them all, but like a lot of my other pieces, I don't have everything because I don't have enough stone, so I have to, like, not have one. Anyway, that's all there's right. Okay. So I want to talk about chokers and layering them, and I get a lot of questions from you guys ask, asking to do a video strictly on layering like chokers and things. I would rather not because I don't like to have like themey videos. I'm not like a themey person, like a bag collection or a shoe collection. I don't know. Like they just think that's so boring. Like I just would rather share everything with you guys like more casually, just like you know. I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. So I think just as I go on, I'll show you guys like little how I do it. I don't know. Okay, there we go with the I don't knows again. So the ones I'm wearing today, so this is the flash chain, and I call it the flash, um, delicate flash choker because it looks like the flash tattoos kind of, but it's obviously not. It's really nice silver chain, really sparkly, really comfortable. You can't even feel it on. You can't even feel it on. The next one is my Cinderella choker, and it's made out of 100% genuine leather. It's really nice, really soft, and I love it just because it's so minimal, and it just really brings so much attention to like the 90s minute like rocker feel. I don't know, I'm just in love with it. And then I'm wearing the silver coronation rope, and you guys can just see how beautiful and sparkly and detailed it is, but at the same time has an amazing edge. I just I can't even tell you guys like how in love I am with this trio. Like I I don't know, it's one of those things. Like, I just want to eat it. It looks so perfect. I just love the, I don't know. <laughs> so this is how I've been layering these three lately. Um, also, this Cinderella choker, this is really in inexpensive. It's just, it has a, it has a nice um, toggle in the back, uh, silver toggle that's cl closed with a screw. It's really nice um, hardware. But um, I also would offer this with a little silver brass heart, silver heart or gold heart made of brass right in the front. So a little added detail. I just like the minimal, I feel like sexy Cinderella mod. I love it like this. But a lot of you guys have ordered with the um, the simple little, it's a little brass heart um, as well for a little added detail. I love it. I don't know, I think it's just perfect. I just, it's one of those things where I, I'm not looking at myself, you guys. I'm looking at my chokers, I swear. It's like that. Now we're on the kind of um, theme of necklaces and chokers. I also want to show you that I have the coronation in the gold. So you could also wear this version with the black or not. If you guys think it's a little bit too edgy, even though I really don't think. I just think this is so classic looking. Like, it's classic but mod. Can you imagine this with like a, like a lacy, white lacy top with this look? It's just perfection. I don't know. Okay. So this I also have in a really light gold color, and you, I also offer this in a gold, in the flash in the gold, so it's just, you can do either look, you know what I mean? You can do a gold or a silver look. It just depends on what you're going for. Love it. Okay, and then I have my new um, Swarovski, this is made of a Swarovski crystal heart choker. So I would take either, mm, what would I do? I would layer this with a coronation or the flash. Sorry, I'm not flipping you guys off. Um, I just feel like it can't really, well, yeah, it can. It just, it can, sorry. So I have two not, two knobs, not nods, two holes on the back of this. I don't know, it's notches on the back of the Cinderella choker. So I can even bring this down more if you wanted to. So you could have it laying on your collarbone if you want. Um, I would just move this and scoot it down. And then I could wear this stacked with it, which would look absolutely gorgeous. Or you could layer it with any. That's why I love my chain so much. They just all go, so I make them so you can just wear them with anything. Like take, choose which ones you want and they all work together. That's why I love this. It's just effortless. You don't have to think about it. You guys know I just, don't want it to be too fussy. I don't want like a fussy kind of life. So what I love about this, it's a um, real Swarovski crystal. It's rose gold on one side, and on the other side, it's a, like a hematite color. It's a gray, di like diamond, black, white crystal. It's absolutely amazing, and this is a mirrored kind of um, beautiful rose gold color. It's just freaking amazing. I just think it's like so cute, but so like, um, now, 
you know what I mean? It's just, it's not cute. I mean, it's cute, but it's not. Because I'm not like a too cutesy person, but it's just, it's just too, I love it. I love crystals. You guys know I love crystals. So. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is something I'm really excited about. And if you guys have been with my line for a, a while, you will know the typical clasps I use. I will show you what they used to look like. And I've got new clasps now, and I can't tell you how excited I am. Like, okay. <laughs> so these are the old clasps. There was a little bit of detail on them. They're beautiful, thick, nice, sturdy clasps. I was just kind of getting tired of them. I'm thinking my, to myself, what else is out there that's different? I want a little bit more mod. I feel like these were a little bit more classic with the little dots on them almost. And I don't know. Um, I got bored of them. And I wanted to switch it up. And I wanted to... These are good quality, but the ones I'm doing now are even better. They're costing me double, but they're not costing you anymore. I'm not raising prices on anything that I will currently... That I'll be using them on. I'm going to be using them on almost everything. So here are the new clasps. I am so stoked about them. They're 100% brass, but they're all silver. And I want you to see how big and pretty they are. They are smooth and nice and they feel, I can't explain it. If you guys are as picky as me and if you've been with my line for a while, when you get this, you'll know what I mean. I'm putting them on the Stockholms now too. And what I like about putting them, these big ones on the Stockholm is because these clasps are so beautiful, if it turns around, I just, it's it gorgeous. Like it just looks nice because it's such a big, beautiful, shiny and quality clasp. Um, I don't know if it looks like very much to you guys. It might just look like a plain lobster clasp, but when you get it and see it, it just, it's very like very couture and nice feeling and looking. And so I'm just so excited about my new clasps. I wanted it like it shared on Instagram, but I don't know if you guys, if people would have understood or noticed, I wanted to really kind of show you guys how, you know what the word is, they're sleek. They're sleek and minimal and very nice quality. Um, and I like, I could be upping the prices on everything, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, I just want my line to just keep getting better and I want you guys to keep coming and getting more. So I'm just upping quality on everything I can. I mean, the quality I do is really nice, but on little things like that, if I can find an even better option, yes. And here is the silver Stockholm. Oh, here's a comparison because I have them here of the silver and the gold Stockholms. These are so perfect. Just throw one on with a white tee poking out of the top. So perfect. Okay, sorry for the noise outside. There's like gardeners, I think, that are, um, you can hear that. Is that annoying? I hope not. I'll try to talk louder. Because I have the window open because my windows here in my place, they have like a gray tint because I live close to like a water area so like I think the glare is really bright for some I don't know so I think they put a tint over the windows that makes me have like a gray tint in my place anyway okay so the next thing are scents and I have three new scents to show you guys and I'm really really picky about scents okay I'm gonna start off with my home scent first and this one is by Moschino okay I couldn't get more like bougie right I'm gonna close the window this is not gonna be good okay so onto the Moschino. All right, so I love Bath and Body Works. I, I mean, I don't love Bath and Body Works. What is it? Um, there's some things that I like. Like I like to get, I love when winter comes around and like the, like that, what is it? Pumpkin spice and like the buttercreams. Like I love it because I don't want to eat buttercream and stuff even though it's my favorite thing. So I buy candles and stuff to kind of like make me not want to eat that stuff. I don't need, I don't know. I just love like that sweet homey smell. But for some reason, you guys, whenever I get those candles and I burn them, it does not smell like what you're smelling. When you burn the candles, it smells like crap. Like, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell right. I don't know. What do you, I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. It just, I maybe obviously cause it's not expensive. So they're going to like, it's not quality. I'm not sure. All right. So Ugh, last year I was in a, a really bougie store in Beverly Hills. Sorry, I'm gonna switch positions. And I walked in and they were burning this freaking candle and I asked the sales girl, I was like, what is that smell? It smells so good. And of course it was a $90 candle. I bought it because I was just like, I can't find the smell I like. I love candles. It's such like a guilty pleasure to be able to come home after a really long day and burn a candle. I just feel like the whole world is better at that point, right? Like. And I would love to get, I would love to have like a nice smelling cinnamon candle, but it just smells like, it doesn't smell the way it smells, you know what I mean, when you buy it at the store. Anyway, 
I don't know if I'm talking too much, but a lot of you guys do like when I go on like rants and stuff. I'm not sure. All right, so this one by Moschino. Oh, sorry, Missoni, not Moschino. Missoni Home. You guys, oh my god, it smells so good. It just smells like classy. You guys know I love my Brado stuff. Like, I am really okay. I can be super bougie, but at the same time, I'm not. Like, I love chilies and like chain restaurants and what else? Like I love to watch cops. Like I am like a, kind of like a tomboy in some ways. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not bougie like, all the time, but because I'm so picky, it gets me to be more bougie. I would have no problem going and getting like a cheapy candle from even CVS if it would smell the way it's supposed to smell. Like anyway, um, it almost irritates me that I have to buy a $90 candle for it to smell good when it burns. So this one is called Sandalwood, ocean salt, sea salt, fresh leaves. I'm, these are like the scents I'm picking up. Mist, fresh rain, like dew. That's what it smells like. I'm at the same time. I like sage. I don't know lemon. No, I don't know. I love sweets, sweet stuff. But at the same time, I don't because it can smell tacky and cheesy. If you guys want to invest in a good smelling candle, I'm gonna put the link below. It's so worth it. Like it's worth every penny because it lasts and it smells the way it's supposed to smell. And it's one of those things. If you work hard and you really just wanna relax when you come home and you can afford it, I think you should buy this. I'll put the link below because it's worth it. If they had a wallflower like this I and it wouldn't last for just a week, I'd probably buy it too. Okay. Two more scents. The first one I'm gonna say is Brado because you guys know, but I have about five Brado scents and I've just ran out of my gypsy water, which I love. But my other favorite one now, I'm not keen on the Bal de Freak. I like it, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase that one. The one that I'm just like, oh my God, yeah, like sprayed all over me is Blanche. It just smells like, imagine if Tide like if Chanel made Tide, if Sh if Tide and Chanel made a soap, laundry soap, a lot of laundry deter a detergent, I feel like this is what it would smell like. And I know a lot of us love fresh laundry smells, which is another one by Bath and Body Works that I think smells like crap after a while. Is there like linen and smells so bad? Okay, so this if yeah if Chanel and Tide got together and did like a collab, this is what they would create. I swear. So anyway, if you guys want to spend like $100 on a perfume, um, get Blanche. I know a lot of you guys have Blanche, um, but I just wanted to share which one so far of my Bredos that I love the most. And I think this one next to Gypsy Water. Okay, then the next thing I did, okay, so I went and had a martini one day and then I went to Neiman Marcus and spent too much money. Um is this, and I don't regret buying it, even though I think it was even more expensive than the Brado. It's by Diana Vreeland, and she's that, whatever, I don't know, she's like that old, old time fashion guru or whatever, right? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna lie, the bottle got me, okay? The bottles are beautiful. I got the mini one, because like the bigger ones are like $300, and this was like 125 maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, it smells really good. I don't like to smell regular. Like I know a lot of girls just wear like the Dior's and like the Chance and stuff. It, they don't smell right on me at all. Like they stink on me. They make me, even if I spray them on my clothing, I end up stinking like, like, I don't know, sour? By the end of like the day. And I don't like that. I feel like these, they don't, like Bredos, smell good on me. This one, I, you know what I don't, I don't spray it on my skin because I don't want to take the chance and hate it, but I really like this. This one is the absolutely vital. And there's about seven, I think, scents. And this is the one that's, I, I just want to smell different. I want to smell classy. I want to not smell like every other person on the street. I want to, um, and you guys know, I'm picky and I'm unique and I'm quirky and I don't, want, I don't care, like I want to smell like me, I want it to be different, like I don't buy things because other people buy things. This smells woodsy more, it smells kind of deep and like mysterious, um, 
It smells like, okay, it smells like rich. Like, what do you want me to say? I think it's like really like mean and not mean, but it's like kind of gross to say, but it smells like high class, you know what I mean? Um, it smells unique and that's what I wanted. That's the word. It smells unique. I, you guys know, like I, everything I, a lot of things I don't like to be like typical except like, not sure. like I like what I like, I guess. Um, really nice and yeah if you guys want to treat yourself try this one too and if you know what they give you samples too so i asked for samples of the other ones so i can like keep them with me they were like so cheapy about it though she gave me like one she's like oh here this is not the other one you like she gave me like one sample of one of the other ones like i just bought this and i want to buy more like give me a sample of each so i can try them out what is it to you i don't understand like Oh, are you paying for the samples? No. Like, if I worked at these counters, you better believe it, I'd be filling up your bags with samples so that you'd come back to me and that you would buy from me. I would totally remember the girl who gave me a ton of samples. Girl or guy. It's usually the guys that are nicer. Anyway. These are life, you guys. Life. So if you're like me, who's always trying to, like, watch your calorie intake, I don't care if they're unhealthy. Actually, these are not unhealthy. But if you're trying to watch your calorie intake, these, there's like six, I think, big sheets of seaweed. A lot of people don't like fishy taste or seaweed, but I really don't think these are fishy tasting. They're more like geared towards like the American crowd, like rather than the Asian crowd. So um, I feel like it, in Asia, I'm not saying you guys, in Asia you like fishy taste, but sea snack, like seaweed is an Asian snack. So um, this is a toasty onion. Don't get the regular one. The regular one tastes like shit. It's disgusting. I've like returned three and exchanged them for these. Another thing is these are kind of pricey. I get them at Whole Foods and they're like almost $3 for one pack. Um, maybe a little three fifty. I don't know. It's a little bit expensive for one, like one snack. But these are really good. You guys, the entire pack. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, this is, you guys are gonna think I'm so insane. I thought the whole pack was 25 calories. It's actually 50 calories. I didn't look at the serving size. I'm so stupid. Oh my God, I've been eating 25 calories extra. <laughs> okay, that changes it. Only because I've been eating more of these than these, even though these are my favorite. They're the same company, but these are called Chompers. And the whole pack of this is 80 calories. These are like, I'm gonna open this for you guys so I'll eat it later, but I'm gonna have one to show you. So these are little like fried, I don't know if they're fried, but fried pieces of seaweed. This is the original flavor, but the jalapeno is good if you like spicy and the onion is really good, but um, I wanted to show you the original. So this is what it looks like. They're so salty. They taste like Funyuns. Makeup. So you guys know that I'm pr really minimal when it comes to makeup. Not really minimal, pretty minimal. Like I don't wear eyeshadows typically and stuff like that. If I do, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be really picky about it and crazy, right? Um, but what I'm talking about now is during the day makeup, what I carry in my purse and what I do during the day to touch up. So I feel like when you get older, unless you have like major skin issues and problems and I'm not talking to you, I don't know. Like if you don't have like a lot of skin problems like me or we're blessed with like n kind of normal skin, when you keep touching up during the day, you end up looking like a prostitute, I feel like. <laughs> like caked on dirty. Not a dirt, you look dirty, I feel like. Like it's like you don't need to be keep on applying more mascara. You don't need to keep on putting on more eyeliner. Like it just gets clumpy and dirty. Like just calm it down, I feel like. So what I do, I don't touch anything up. Yeah, I could probably use more mascara at the end of the day and stuff, but I just don't bother. I feel like just be a little bit more like natural. Like you don't have to do it up that much. That's my opinion and philosophy on during the day makeup. I carry around two products. This is questionable, but I'll tell you guys about this. This is the one you guys know I've been using for a long time. It's my Marc Jacobs, and I bought this separate. It's just a little thing. And what I do is I swipe, and then I just pat, 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 pat. pat. That's it. Okay, and then I take this, and you guys know I have this kind of a cheek lip duo, whatever. I have this in a Stila brand, and I love the Stila, and the, I think it's called the Petunia. And then I bought this by Lipstick Queen. It's called Free Ride from Ulta. I like it, it's nice. I probably won't return it, even though it's similar to my Stila, I can, and I don't like having extra products around. Um, you, I like to have a minimal kind of space with just like the things I use. I don't like to have storage bins of like, a hundred lipsticks and 500 mascaras. It just, it, I don't like it. It, it. It's like an irritating thing. Like it's too much clutter. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll return this. I won't return it because I like it. 
So this is what I do during the day, just one finger. Just right on the front, just so it kind of shows right on the front. I don't bother with the sides because my lips go in. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos where I say that. I don't really, I just focus on the front and then I'll take my fingers, tap it twice, and I'll just kind of brush like a little bit of cheek here, just for like a little bit of like flirty, young, fresh, vibrant look. I'm not, that's it. Like I'm not gonna deal with it. I feel like it brightened up my face. It made me, you know, just look a little bit more fresh. I don't wanna fuss and just like sit there and put more makeup on during the day. It's like tacky, right? I don't know. So yeah, just simple. Like I like to keep my life simple. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna like hate me by the end of this and I think I'm insane. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is my three new favorite bracelets. And I was really happy to know that you guys like to see the crystals up close. Um, I want to tell you, this, the pictures that I take of my crystals, they are so difficult to take pictures of because there are so many facets of different colors. I don't use anything but Swarovski and the rare vintage ones, typically, that other people aren't using. Um, a lot of the ones I find are from special suppliers who um, only deal with vintage pieces. Obviously nothing used, just pieces that are discontinued. Um, just, you know, I buy their whatever boxes they might have left. Okay, so the first one I talk about is my new first one, and this one is going out the door. I've already sold a lot of what I have. I'm gonna to try to contact my supplier to get another box, but I don't even know if it's gonna be possible. This is vintage and rare. So these are my La Dauphine stackable bracelets, and what I love about the stackable ones, I'll show you. First, I'll show you the colors. This one is like a perfect silver mirror. It's a crystal, obviously, um, and I call it, who's, who's the fairest? Like, who, like it's a mirror, like who's the fairest of them all? Um, so like that. And look, at, look at that stack, how beautiful. Let me tell you, this is my new Rose Gold Lux hardware in which a lot of people have ordered. Um, oh my God, so gorgeous with silver hardware. I wanna show you, so this is the way I wear it, but because, the, even the hardware is beautiful, because I love this Rose Gold so much, I've actually been wearing it upside down even, so if I'm like sitting like this, like this will show, but then like how sick is that? It's like so beautiful. I just feel like it's so shiny. Oh my God, I'm just like so in love with it. I just love it. It just makes me so happy. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you, this one is a new color. This is not vintage, but it's limited edition and it's called the lipstick crystal, I call it. And it's just the perfect, you guys know I'm picky about pinks and everything. I love this color so much because it's really a unique peak. I feel like it looks like the color of my lips, right? A little bit. It is not a Barbie pink, it's not a magenta. It's almost like a carnation mixed with a bubble gum and has a little bit of a deeper undertone. It is so pretty, it's so faceted, right? Absolutely gorgeous. And I call them the stackable Duffins because I like, if, I like to wear them, and I think you guys should if you can, get two or more because of the way you're able to stack them. You can just stack, stack, stack back and forth because they interlock with each other, and you can just choose any colors you want. Um, look at that. And what I recommend for these is don't try to, to be too matchy. If you really like two colors and they don't match, that's what's so cool. I think it looks better. I'll wear this one a lot with the Aztec Ombre, which is a mirrored crystal, but it's like green and orange and deep blue. And the contrast of them is what is makes the, such a unique arm candy. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. This video was so me. It was so picky, it was so ridiculous, right? I mean, to me it's not ridiculous. This is just like normal going on in my head. <sighs> if you have any questions about my line or any of the pieces, if you can't find them online, you guys just email my email, email me, my email's below, I'm here, and then my assistant Ashley is here when I'm not. We like always switch for emails. And um, just thank you guys so much. And I'm really loving the way my channel's going. I feel like, I'm able to just be myself. I don't have to watch what I say. I was really afraid for a lot of years. If I was myself, if I was like so picky the way I am, if I showed that part of me, maybe you guys wouldn't want to watch me anymore, but now I think that you like it and it just makes me like, I've always loved you guys, but now I feel like a bigger connection because you actually like me. 
I think. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Like really, I've always thought of you guys as like my friends, honestly, because you know I don't have a ton of friends, but I really do now. So it's just great. Anyway, I love you guys so much and thank you so, so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.